Hey man, same man, welcome back to another vlog. It's your boy Beast Boy Kwan. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Garage Gym update. So we're gonna basically this video is just about the updates and everything um, with the garage gym. Last time you guys seen this, the walls were all white. This wall right here had the that green and black AV. Everything was white. I didn't have all of this rubber mat. The layout was completely different. Like it's everything in here is just completely different than what it was before. I ran out of paint, that's why that's like that. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the honest truth right there. Um, so, so, we're gonna start right here in this section, right right here. We have two horse stall mats, those cost about 45 a piece. Um, and I have a total of five in here. Um, four are on the floor. And no, actually I have a total of four. So three on the floor and two were used for the deadlift platform. Um, 45 a piece. I have this here battle rope that I got off Amazon for about 30 bucks. Um, it works pretty well. It's about, I don't know, like 10, 15 pounds, I think. Um, I got this right here. These, these are for push-ups. Um, this right here, the ab roller. Um, and then this right here as well. I don't really know what these are for, but the guy gave me those as well. I got that when I got the dumbbells he gave me that with that. Um, these are just cones that I've had. Um, this is another app roller, that's j Rods. He ordered this off Amazon. I don't know how much he paid for that. And then this is a roller right here. I got this off Amazon as well for like 10, 15 bucks. And it came with like balls inside of it. Like you can open this up. Yes, I'm wearing Crocs. You can open that up. Um, and then we have the wall. This white, this wall right here is black. This is the same black that's in my room. And I really like, just love the black, like how it looked. So I painted just this wall black and then the rest of the walls are gray. Um, yeah. We're gonna move over right here. We got the deadlift platform for deadlifts, overhead press, anything basically to do that's gonna, you're gonna be dropping. Um, so I have this, I don't have any um, bumper plates yet, so this is why this is really handy because I don't wanna just slam that on just a stall mat, you know? Um, so there's that. I picked up two of these lights right here, one on each side, so I have one right here and one over there. Um, I got those from Home Depot, they were like 15 bucks each. Uh. Um, we're moving over. We got the weight tree with all the weights. Um, the guy who gave me the dumbbells, like who I got the dumbbells off of, he also gave me these like increment weights too. So that's. A half pound, a quarter pound, stuff like that. That's what those are. Um, the weight tree I got off Facebook Marketplace for 15 bucks. Um, here's that. This this is the only bench that I have in here as of now. This is just a basic uh, flat bench I got off Amazon for $50, I think. And then we're gonna go over to the squat rack. My, the centerpiece of the garage gym, basically. Got this from Rogue. I got it new with the barbell and with the iron plates that I have right there, or metal plates. Um, I do eventually want to get another bar, like just like a beater bar, so because I've been using this to do literally everything. Like, I mean, everything. And I would like to um, have a beater bar that I can use. Like, this is, this is chalk on this because we were using this to hold and our hands were, you know, kind of kind of getting sweaty and losing grip and stuff. So I don't want to have to have chalk on the sleeves or the shaft of the barbell. 
Um, there's that. On the side, these are band pegs. These are actually meant for band pegs. Like if you want to squat with bands or bench with bands, like with the band resistant. Um, but I'm using this as of now just to hold like my jump ropes. Uh, the guy who gave me, like the guy I got the dumbbells off of, he also gave me this as well. This all came with the dumbbells that I got. stuff um, we move on over here I got this shelf right here this costs about 45 50 dollars but I got this for free so shout out to shout out to that this just basically is holding just random stuff as of now um, the, I was cleaning in here and I found these the other day old pole and hurdling pictures <laughs> um, got the fan on there the paint stuff a belt, a hydro flask, another belt, jacket, and my uh, squat shoes, um, just random stuff. Got the, the Red Bulls, of course. Got them by the pack. I, t I had to take this off. Oh, yeah, I took the mirrors off so I can paint this. I eventually want to get another mirror like this side by side with that. So, yeah. I had to take this off as well so I can paint this. Um, I had ran out of paint right at this spot right here. This is where I ran out of paint at. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I think I'm just gonna paint around this or I should take this down. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's the plan. I think I'm gonna go um, next week to go get more paint and then the, buy the rest of the mats for the, the rest of the garage. Um, we Obviously we have the dumbbells. I got the dumbbells off of Craigslist. Um, so I got the dumbbells, the rack, all of the stuff over there, the, the increment weights, and then the jump ropes. I got all of that for $800. Um, and these are pro style dumbbells, you guys know. I showed you guys this in the past. Five to 50 pounds, five pound increments. I mean, then I got this big mirror right here for the free 99. Shout out my guy, John Rod, for this. It's just, it's just perfect, like it's perfect. And that's basically what's in the garage gym as of now. get some bumper weights I want to get two more bars I want to order some some band not band picks some like some wall mounts so I can like mount up the bars the bands the jump ropes the belts so I can just hang things so they can just be off the floor and not taking up square footage you know I want to use as much space as possible because I still have to keep this side free for my mom's car and stuff so, so there's that um, but the entire garage will be filled with this. Hopefully by next week, it'll all be done in here. Everything in here will be just rubber matting. Um, and that's basically the update of the garage gym. That's the, that's the, um, that's the gym right there. Um, comment down below what you guys think I should get next. Um, what you guys think about like the, like the, I love the progression of this. Like, from the video I just uploaded to, to now, like it's a huge difference. It, even from when I like first started, it's just a huge difference. And I, and I love the fact that um, it's, coming, it's coming together quite nicely, if I do say so myself. And I've been spending all of my, all of my money on just these little, the little things that are just making it like that much more better, you know? Um, I had a couple friends come over yesterday and the day before yesterday, we got a workout in. It's pretty cool. I can have workout with. It was four of us in here, so we got we got a good workout in with four people. So that's cool. I would like to get another bar, so we don't have to just wait around. Like that's a long rest for four people to be sharing one barbell. Um, but for dumbbells wise, we we made it work. We definitely made it work. So that's that's my garage gym. Peace. <laughs>